Hey everybody, welcome to another class. Uh, what we're going to do, we're just going to read two short stories, two beginner stories, and then just talk about the vocabulary. And you'll just be able to learn um, new vocabulary words, you'll be able to read a little bit, get a little bit better of an understanding. All right, so good, good. Let me uh, share with you, I did start this a little bit early. I see Tilek is in here, so good. So those of you that have um, that have uh, reservations, you're able to start class, you're able to join the class already. Okay, so that's good. And let me show you here. So what you do, here's how you get reservations. That's how you join, okay? Hello. Hi. Hi, Talek. Hi, Talek. Uh, hi, teacher. Hi, how are you, Talek? Uh, I'm doing pretty well, and you? Doing well, doing well. And Talek, where are you from? I'm from Kazakhstan. Kazakhstan. Okay, good, good, good. And how uh, how do you like the reservations? Do you like using the reservations? Yes, uh, I like it. Uh, okay, good, good, very good. Makes it a I little bit sure easier. That, yeah, it's easy, and I can be more sure that I attend this class. <laughs> yep, yep. So, very good, very good. Uh, how long have you been taking Verbling classes? Uh, it's actually it's my first class. Okay, all right, we're I, good. I I signed in recently, a few days ago. Okay, but you you enjoy watching the classes? Yeah, of course, I yeah. enjoy. Yeah, I've seen you watching a few of my classes. All right, so good, good. And uh, what do you need to improve the most? Do you need to improve your speaking? Do you need to improve your reading? What uh, your vocabulary, your grammar? What what do you have to improve the most? Uh, first of all, it's speaking and vocabulary. Mm. Okay, good. And you've you've been taking uh, formal classes. Have you been taking regular classes in order to improve your English? Uh, actually, I study by myself uh, by internet. Oh wow! Without any class. So you're completely self-taught. It's yeah. amazing, huh? Real amazing. So good, good, good for you. And okay. uh, so now you probably just need more time to practice with people, right? Yeah. Okay. Good. All right. So very good. And um, are you practicing with anybody right now? Do you have any like English corners or anything like that where you can practice with others? Unfortunately, no. Hmm. So yeah, so this is the uh, this is a good way to do that. So yeah. good, very good. Nice, nice to meet you, Talek. So let's nice see who else has joined class. Yep, very good. Hello, Tara. Welcome, welcome to class. Hi. Hi. Good. Good Thank to have you, you here. You're welcome. Thanks. Hello, Du Fam. Hello. Hi, Du. How are you? Fine today. Thanks. Good. Where are you, Where are you from? Are you from Vietnam? Yes. Why well, you know that? Oh, I can just guess with your name and just your accent. So uh, no, nothing bad. Everything good. Okay. Very good. So no problem. Let's see. Let's see who else is in here. Okay. So hello, Samir. Hi, Samir. Welcome to another class. Hi. Hi, teacher. How are you? Doing well. Doing well. Good. To, good to have you in here. So, um, Kenichi. Kanichi, uh, is she is she high? Hi. Hi. Yeah, well, I can't hear you. It's okay, Kanichi. Kanichi wa. Okay, I can't I can't hear you though. Yeah, it's okay. Um, so click the mute. It's okay. No no worries. Let me, let me help you out here. Okay. So let me show you something. It's okay, Kenichi. It's probably new to class, so don't worry. Look up here, Kenichi. Do you see this? Do you have a red microphone? Yeah, if your microphone is red, click on the microphone, Kenichi. Yes, I, I click. Okay, good. Can you hear me? 
Yeah, I can hear you. I can hear you. Uh, are you, are you fr from Japan then? Yes, I'm from Japan. Okay. Nice to hey, meet good. you. Very nice to meet you too. Can uh, you just call me Ken? Just me call me Ken. Uh, say hmm. what? Say it again. Uh, just call me Ken. Ken or Ken? Yeah. Yes. Okay, yeah. And you can you can always change your name down on the bottom. Like right here you can always change it to where it's Ken. Just so it's yes. easy for people to understand, but no problem. So good. Yes. Is this your first time here in Verbling? Um, I'm second this is second time. Okay, good, good. And and by the way, Ken, make sure that you don't have the Verbling window open, okay? Only have the Google Plus Hangout window open. If you have the Verbling window, sometimes you can hear me twice. Okay, so just make sure you close the Verbling window. All right. So good. Very nice okay. to meet you, Ken. Very nice to meet you. Uh, Merce, hello, Merce. Hi, Merce. Can you hear me? No, it looks like you're frozen. Hello, Natalie. Hi, Natalie. Hello. Hi. Uh, hi. Where are you from, Natalie? I'm from Russia. Okay, well, good, good, good. Welcome to class. Is this your first time here on uh, Verbling? Uh, actually, it's my second time. Okay, so good, good. So you've gotten used to everything. Well, good, Natalie. Do you like Verbling so far? Yes, of course. Okay. <laughs> That's of why course. I'm here. <laughs> okay, <laughs> now I know that. So good, good, good. All right, so let's see. Let's let's see if we can get the rest of your uh, fellow students to talk here. Merce, hello, Merce. Yeah, Merce, hello, Merce. And then you say hello, teacher. Hello, Merce. Hello, teacher. Hello, Merce. Hello, teacher. Hello, Merce. Hello, teacher. <laughs> That's how it goes. So, Merce, make sure look look here, Merce. Okay. Yeah, click the red microphone. Oh, there you go. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Hello, Merce. Hi. Hi. Where are you Where are you from, Merce? I'm from Barcelona. Oh, fantastic. Good. 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 Okay. So good. So welcome to class. Welcome to class. Is this your first time Thank here? You. Primera tiempo yes. in Verbling. Okay, sí. fantastic. Yes. Okay, good, good, good. It's also Ken's first time, or maybe his second time. I don't know. Who knows? But everybody's here. So good. We have Dufam. We have Ken. We have Merce. We have. Is it is it Natalie or Natalia? Natalia, actually. Natalia. Okay, Natalia. Yeah. Okay. By the way, I'm fluent in Russian. I'm oh. fluent in Russian. No, I'm just kidding. I can't speak any Russian. <laughs> uh, so anyway, but uh, nice to meet you. Samir's here, Tara, and Tilak. Okay, so good. Fantastic. In case you're wondering, this is me, okay? All right? This is Brett. I, I, for some reason, like in the afternoon, like like God shines down on me. I don't, I don't know what goes on, you know? He, lo he loves me in the afternoon. Always gives me a nice, warm, warm little breeze here. So a nice, nice, warm sunlight, kind of like a silhouette. Okay, so good. And hey, Samir, just just mute yourself when you're not speaking, Samir. Okay. Some sometimes there's a little bit of noise that comes from you. Okay. All right, good. So we're gonna talk about, or we're gonna have a few small stories here. Okay, this is the first one. Okay, and then this is the second one. Okay, this is a beginner class, so now I'm going to slow down. I'm going to speak a little slower, but not so slow that it drives everybody nuts. But we'll do this, and let me see, is this stupid one not still working? Google.com, let me see. Oh, split screen, why won't you work? Okay, let me just do another one here. Okay, let's see here. Okay. Okay, good. Look at that. What do you know? Life is still good. Okay. Let's see if I can squeeze this here. Okay. All right, here we go.
Okay, so nothing's perfect. That's all right. Life's not supposed to be perfect. Okay, so good. I'm going to have you read a little bit. And don't worry, there's two stories. So if you don't get to read the first story, don't think, oh, my gosh, the teacher doesn't like me. He won't let me read. Emmanuel. Hi, Emmanuel. Hello, Emmanuel from Costa Rica. Mi Costa Rica, Tica, Artico, Amigo. Costa Rica, amigo, como esta? Escuche, Emmanuel. Oh, what happened to my friend? Hello, teacher. Hello. Hello. Hey. Hello, Emmanuel. Good, finally. So, how are things in Costa Rica today? Um, doing well, doing well. All right. Today was a no. good day. Today was a good day? Okay, yes. so yes, good. Because it's... it's the day is uh, it's the start is one and ten a.m. One ten a.m. Oh yeah. man! Yes. Wow, it's so late. Are you not you're not drinking any guaro, right? No. <laughs> okay, good, good. I don't want you. I don't want you drinking guaro and going to my classes all guaroed up. So anyway, good good to see you, man. You, I'm glad that you're so dedicated. So good. Okay. Hamid. Well, nice. Hello, Hamid. Hi, Hi teacher. How are hey, you? Hey, Hamid. Good, good, good. And by the way, guys, I'm going to mute you when you're not speaking just because there's a little bit of sound. doesn't mean I don't like you, okay? Just a little bit of sound, like when you're moving around. Sometimes you're... When people are moving around, okay? So, good, Hamid. Good to see you in class. Okay, so now we're going to continue. Dufam. Hello, Dufam. Hello. Hi, Dufam. Can you read this? Donald plays the piano. Yes, uh, Donald plays uh, the piano. He loves the piano. He has big piano in his living room. His piano is sunny and black. Okay, good, 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 good. And also, make sure though, make sure you take time after the sentences to just pause and stop for a second. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. By the way, this is a beginner class, so if you're going, wow, this is easy, it's a beginner class, so just relax, relax, okay? And if this is too easy for you, you should actually give up your seat for somebody who's a beginner. So if this class is too easy, try to give it up for a beginner, okay? Okay, Emmanuel, can you read the next one? And, and, and do fam, I'm going to mute you just because I can hear the little kids running around. Okay. Don't don't feed them a lot of sugar. That'll slow them down some. Go ahead, Emmanuel. Um, um, hold on, uh, because teacher, hold on a sec, uh, because um, I don't open that the, the document right, um, yet. Okay. Can you can you see it on my screen? Can you wait a sec? Yeah. No teacher. problem. No problem. No problem. So everybody sees what a piano is, right? Piano with your piano keys, you know, with the pedals down on the bottom. So does anybody here play the piano? Does anybody play the piano? No? No. Oh, Tara, you do. Did so you? Tara, yeah, well, one, one, one second. So Tara, uh, how many hands do you use when you play the piano? Do you use three hands or two hands or one? One to two? Okay, good. Good, good. I'm glad you don't use three. Okay, so Emmanuel. Go ahead, Emmanuel. I thought you were ready, Emmanuel. Are you ready yet? Hello? Go ahead, Emmanuel. Yes, I'm ready. Go yes, ahead. I'm ready. It has three legs. Um, uh, okay. It has to relax. He sits on a bench to play the the piano. Um, to play the piano, the bench has four four legs. His piano has eighty eight keys. Okay, good, the good, good. Are... No, no, go ahead. You can you can stop right okay. there. There's there's only so much to okay. read, so I want to make sure I can fit everybody in. Okay. 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 Okay, so let's do the next one. 
Hamid. Good, Hamid. Can you read this next one? The keys are black. Mm -hmm. The keys are black and white. Donald has ten fingers. His ten fingers play music on the 88 piano keys. The piano also has three paddles. Pedals or paddles? Okay, pedals. Pedals. Let's stop there. So, I thought, how does he have, do you have ten fingers? You have ten. Me? And hey, but but yeah. By the way, hey Talik, I know you don't yeah. realize this, but you have to keep your microphone muted. If you don't, then we can hear you clicking, click, 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 click. Okay, and it drives some people crazy. So just make sure you stay muted when you're not speaking. Hamid, let me ask yeah. you something. Okay, do you yeah. do you have do you have ten fingers? How many fingers do you have? Yeah, yeah, of course. Does everybody have ten fingers? Am I the only one who yes. only has eight? Okay, so I'm the only one here that has four fingers, or pardon me, I have eight fingers and two thumbs. Am I am I the only one? So, yeah, I'm just I'm, I'm perplexed. So, are you sure? So, I, I thought I thought these are fingers, right? And I thought we had eight fingers and two thumbs. Hmm. Yes, but it seems, it seems, it seems kind of crazy, huh? So yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. yeah, you know. So you have a total of on both hands, right? You have a total of eight fingers and two thumbs. Okay, so okay. yeah, I don't know okay. about this. I don't know about this story. It doesn't make sense to me. Um, so all right, uh, let's see here. Okay, so whoever gets to read this one gets to read a lot. So don't everybody be upset. Okay. You know, oh, you got to read more than me. Teacher likes him better. Um, Ken, go ahead, Ken. Don't worry, we have another story coming up. Everybody will read. Good, Ken. Can you read this, Donald? Okay. Donald uses his two feet on the three pillars. He uses both of his hands and both of his feet to play the piano. He also uses both of his eyes to play the piano. Now doesn't that seem kind of weird? Is it, have you ever seen anybody play the piano with their eyes? Oh, he used both of his eyes. His... Yep. So he just he just probably reads the music. I don't think he like hits the piano keys with his eyes. That'd be a little crazy. Okay, let's do some vocabulary. Okay. Merce, is it is it Merce, Merce or Merce. is it um, Merce? Merce, see, Merce, see, yes. okay, <laughs> okay, Merce. So, um, so we know what a piano is, okay? What what does it mean by shiny and black? Shiny and black. What shiny else? What else is shiny and black? Shiny, I don't know. Black is the color. Okay, so. All right, let's see here. Let's see what sort of craziness comes up here. So shiny. So shiny is when, you know, when you uh, polish something, like if you polish something, it becomes shiny. Yeah, okay, yeah, okay. I know. And, and you, you could also say earlier when I was showing you the sunlight that's coming in, that's shiny, right? Okay, so that's shiny. Okay. okay. So can somebody, let's see here, uh, uh, do fam, can you use shiny and black in a sentence to describe something? Hello, do fam. Uh, do fam, yeah. Hello. Can you can you use the words shiny and black? Like I can say, I have a shiny and black car. Uh -huh. My car is shiny and black. I can say I that. I have a black uh, shoe, and uh, I have a shiny T-shirt. You have a shiny T-shirt? Yes. Wow. So you have like a glitter, like glitter all over your T-shirt. Usually, most T-shirts aren't shiny. So let me see. Um, T-shirt. Let's see if we can see what your T-shirt looks like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So this is kind of <laughs> shiny, right? <laughs> Maybe this. Do you, do you wear this kind of T-shirt? No. Is this, is this what you wear around? Okay, it's no problem. 
If you like dressing like that, it's okay. All right. <laughs> so, so three legs. Okay. So three legs. Let's go on to the next one. Okay. Samir. Yes. Yep. 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 And uh, Wajihi, you want it? You might be want to say my shoes are shiny and black. Yeah. Okay. Yep. You might want to say it in that way. Right. I have two computer. Um, one of them shiny and black. No, 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 Samir. No, no. What does three legs mean? What does it mean by three legs? Uh, three legs. Uh, that's uh, legs. Mm-hmm. Yep. So, have you ever seen a three-legged dog? Yes. Sir. Yep. So it only has three legs. So a piano, most a lot of pianos only have three legs, right? Yes. You know, when you look at it, one, two, three. But isn't this a fourth leg? I don't know. It's not really. So no, one, two, three, three legs. Mm -hmm. Okay. Can somebody use? Let's see, Hamid. Hamid, can you use three legs in a sentence? Yes, I have a, 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 a pet. It has three legs. I have a pet. It has three legs. And you know, when, when you say that, you probably want to say it only has three legs. Okay? Only has three. Okay. It's yeah, better. it only has three legs. Because you could still have a pet that has four legs if it has three legs. Because it have, could have three legs and it could have a fourth. Like, I could tell you... I have one leg, all right? But that's not okay. negating the fact that I have two legs, right? Okay? Yeah. Of course I have one leg. I have a right leg and I have a left leg, all right? So, yeah. okay, good, good, good. But human, human beings can't have three legs, right? Human beings can only have two legs. Is that correct? Yes. What? Human beings can only have two legs. Have you ever seen a human being with three legs? No. No? no, it's impossible, right? Okay, so good. Yes. Okay, so bench, bench here. Let's look at bench. Okay, so Tara, what's a bench? Uh, like a seat. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yep. So, in this one, this is where you have like a piano bench. A lot of times you hide music underneath there, it usually opens up. So that you can have your music, your sheets of music, in there. Okay, so good, good, good. Um, Ken, can you use okay. bench in a sentence? Um, bench have four legs. Bench has uh, four legs. The bench has four legs. Yep, because you're gonna, and you could also say a bench oh. has four legs. And, uh, wow. mm -hmm. I can see. You can see a uh, bench at the at the park. You can see What's a bench in the park. Mm -hmm. Yep, mm -hmm. you can see a bench in the park as well. So, all right, so good. So, yeah, sometimes, like, if you have a bench in the park. Park, okay. So there's a little bench. Oh, wow, doesn't it look so peaceful? You can just sit there. Okay, mm -hmm. just hang out, watch all the watch all the leaves change colors. Yep, I saw a bench in my park. Okay, so so the bench has four legs usually. Okay, but not always. Wow, eighty-eight keys, eighty-eight keys. So Tilek, yes, make yep. What what does it mean by eighty-eight keys? Uh, it's uh, things that he beat. Touch. Huh. Yeah, who's this guy? 88 Keys? Yeah, let's, let's check out this guy. Hi, I'm 88 Keys. So what do they mean in a piano, 88 Keys? White and black part of piano. So are these are these the keys then? Is this what you you touch with your fingers yeah, to make music? Yeah. Okay, good, yeah. good, good, good. Okay, and uh, let's see here. Uh, Emmanuel, can you use eighty-eight keys in a sentence, please? 
Ok. Um, ok. Um, um, Eric is. Ok. Um, the, um, the, the piano has 88 keys, but I don't know, it's uh, the same, <laughs> the same sentence. Um, yep. That's okay, you know, so you, you kind of use the same one. It's really, it's really hard not to use it. It's okay. It is really we're all hard. good. Yeah, no, no, we're all good. We're all good. Okay. So, um, 10 fingers. Okay, let's see here. Okay, so I guess I'm wrong, you know. I thought you had thumbs, but I guess it's ten fingers. Okay, so um, waji, waji. Yeah, um, yeah, teacher. What does it What does it mean by pedals? The pedals on a piano. What does it mean by that? Pedal. Yeah. Mm. Pedal mean. I have a confusion. Pedal like foot. Yes, yeah, so when there's we, foot pedals. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when we play the piano, we push for through the uh, foot. We push on the pedals. Mm -hmm. We push on the pedals. Right. Mm. We can say we yeah, push yeah. down. We push down on the pedals. Like right. a bicycle pedal, like a bicycle pedal. You can have a, you can have a bicycle pedal as well, right? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so yes, yeah, so you can have a bicycle pedal that you pedal around on. So yeah, these are just the uh, the pedals that you have um, that you have down here at the piano. Okay, so good, so good. And um, to like, I want to say they're like keys. They're a little bit different than the keys, but they do they do. I uh, have a tendency to produce sound. Uh, Merce, yeah, yeah. can you use pedals in a sentence? Maybe referring to a piano or, or something else? Something else. Um, my, my bicycle has two pedals. Yep, my bicycle has two <laughs> pedals. Okay, so good, good, good. Okay. And... Okay, so let's see. Yep. And he uses both of his eyes to play at the piano. Okay, and he usually probably reads, you know, he probably reads um, that with these. Okay, so any questions about the vocabulary here? No? no. There's nothing. No. Nothing. So nothing? Not one question? Okay. No. Okay, well, good, good, good. All right, so on to the next one. It's very, work, it's work, work. very funny, that. That, that test you, you is very funny. <laughs> you, uh, the, which, which one is that? And uh, the test is very funny. Oh, the test? The test the for the piano this? Because. Yeah. Uh, say, say it one more time. It's okay. Can I say buttons of my car? Say that again. Can I say buttons of my car? Of yeah. My so car? you have the gas. You have the gas pedal and you have the brake. So you have pedals in your car. Okay. So you have a brake, or pardon me, you have a gas pedal. Um, boy, it's been so long since I've driven a stick. Excuse me. Got yeah. gas gas pedal. Yeah, right here, the accelerator. So you press axel, down on this. Is this axel, axel pedal? Yeah, so yeah, Brake let's see what's going on. Axle and the crutch. Crutch yeah, you pedal. Have, uh, so, so you have one clutch. Yep, you have the clutch. Mm -hmm. Clutch and pedal brake. and brake pedal and axle yep. pedal. Brake, yep. And so brake. Yeah, I'll break, break, yeah, yep. And Sergi, so how do you describe the shape of the pedal? So uh, it depends on the pedal. If you're talking about pedals on a piano, yep. 
Yeah, some of you guys chill out a little bit, okay? You guys kind of just slow down a little bit. So um, it depends on what pedal. You know, I would say these are shiny, right? Okay. I would say that these are dull and that they are, um, like, overworked or kind of worn out. All right. Okay. So, you know, some are straight. Some are curved. Okay, some are curved out to the left, some are curved out to the right. Um, I don't know how else you want want me to describe pedals, Sergi, but that should do it. Okay. Yep. Okay, so hey, hey guys, I think you're doing all right. Okay. So hey, Dufam, just uh, just stay muted unless you're talking. Okay. I don't I don't want to hear those kids in the background. All right. So. Okay, so let's see. So um, I think Mercy, I think you need to uh, to read here. So okay. So yeah, read. Um, let me see how long this is. Give me give me one second here. Okay, yeah, I think I think everybody will get a chance to read. If you don't, I'll, I'll have you read my obituary. Okay, go ahead, Mercy. Can you read this here? It was time for bed. It was time for bed. Edward was very tired. He turned off the TV. He turned off his computer. He turned off the dining room light. Good, good, good. And dining, dining. dining. I know, I know that. Yeah. So this is. So what happens is. So look, look at this in the chat. All right. So what happens is you have the word dine, right? Dine. So you have dine. Okay. And then what happens is, once you get dining, okay. Once it becomes dining like this, um, let me see in here. Yeah, once it becomes dining like this, then you sit there and think, "Oh my gosh, that's a short I sound, right?" And I understand, I understand why you would think it's a short I sound, but it still remains with the long I sound because of the fact that you had an E on it before. Okay, so do you see that, okay. Mercy? Yep. And don't worry, okay. it's a it's a common mistake, so no okay. problem. No, nobody's going to be mad at you, okay? All right. Okay, so here. Oh, pajamas. Oh, this is fantastic. Everybody likes pajamas. So, so Samir, can you read the next part here? And here, let me, let me give you one more sentence here, okay, just so it's completely fair. Go ahead, Samir. He went into the bathroom. He brushed his teeth. He went into the bedroom. He put on his pajamas. He got into bed. Okay. Yep. And uh, Waji wants to know what's the meaning of dining. Dining means to eat. So your dining room table, you eat at your dining at your dining room table. Okay. So uh, Thank you, sir. you're welcome. And did you finish this, Samir? Is that right? I was busy answering questions. Yes. Okay. Yes. So he put on pajamas. Oh, everybody loves pajamas. Oh, let's see here. Pajamas. Okay. Oops. Wrong one. AJA. Pajamas. Okay. So there you go. Even, even your dog can have pajamas. Look at that. Okay. All right. So um, let's see here. Okay, let me see. Let me make sure. I, okay, so, wow, boy, let me just slow down a little bit. Okay. Okay, so let's continue. So, Tara, can you read the next thing here? It's just only a few sentences. Okay. He put his head on the pillow. He pulled the blanket up to his shoulders. Okay, so good, good, good. So I'm just trying. Yeah, read. Uh, read one more sentence. Go ahead. Read this last one. He thought about all the work he had done that day. Okay. So good. 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 Okay. All right. Wow. There's just not enough. Not enough sentences, huh? But we'll finish it. Uh, Tilek, can you can you read this here, Tilek? And here, let me. Yes, I can. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, uh, he thought about all the work he had to do the next day. He closed okay, his eyes. 
Okay, so good, good, good. And yeah, we're, we're running, we're running out of real estate. So good. So, uh, Waji, hey Waji, yeah, can you yes, can you read this last part here? Yeah, he told about his vacation in three months. That would be so so nice. Oh, vacation, so nice! I can't wait for vacation. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be so nice, so beautiful. I'm gonna go on a tropical island vacation. Tropical island. Oh, I'm so happy. Oh, look at that. It's so beautiful. Oh, my gosh. So Is that two lovers? Oh, there's two yeah. lovers in the water. Oh, this even, oh, my gosh. That could be you laying around in a tropical vacation. Okay, good. Good, good. Let's, uh, let's continue on here. I should come. Oh, to, to Hawaii. I've been to Hawaii. It's very beautiful. Very beautiful. Actually, and actually, not 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 to upset you guys, but I do live on a tropical island. I live on an island in the Philippines. Okay, the only problem is I have to have a gun next to my bed each night. No, I'm just kidding. It's not that dangerous here. So, um, so Emmanuel, and I've been to Costa Rica. Costa Rica, muy bonita. So very good, right? Isn't isn't a so Emmanuel? Yes. Yeah. So Costa Rica is just like Hawaii, huh? Yes, it's very beautiful. Yep. Very beautiful, extremely beautiful. And then there's there's actually there's a island in China. There's just like Hawaii too. Unbelievable. Okay, and I was lucky enough to live there. Look at that. So amazing. So absolutely amazing. And this is where I lived in Dadong Hai. This looks like the beaches there in Dadong Hai. But anyway, let's get back to class. So okay. <laughs> All right, but don't worry, folks. I lived in Shanghai for many years, so so I've had it bad too. Uh, it was time for bed. What what is, what does it mean when it's time for bed? What does it mean by that, Emmanuel? It was time for bed. Time to sleep. It's time yeah. uh, to go to sleep. Okay. Is it almost time for you to go to bed, Emmanuel? Yes, it's time, but um, I I I I'm I'm not sleepy. But I'm not sleepy. Not sleepy. Yes, I'm not sleepy. Um, no, no, no. You want to say? You want to say? I'm not sleepy. I am not sleepy. I, I not sleepy. Yeah. So, okay. so let me help you. Don't use a. Don't use a. And I know if it's. I don't know if it's just your accent. You want to say? Here, look at this. I am not sleepy. Okay. I am not but, sleepy. Hmm. Yeah. You just need to. No, no. You just need to work on your accent because it's like you're not a, not a, not a, and it's just not. I am not sleepy. It's okay. It's okay. No problem. Okay. So okay. can yep. So um, Tilek, Tilek, can you use yes. a sentence? Make up a sentence telling me it was time for bed. It was okay. time for bed. Uh. Kids, uh, it's time to for bed. Uh, let's go to the bed and sleep. To sleep. Me, may I try? Um, yeah, let me let me help out Telek real quick first, okay? So Telek, you want to say it is time for the kids oh. to go to bed, okay? Yeah. It's time to put the kids to bed, all right? So let's put these screaming brats in bed. No, I'm just kidding. So yeah, so so uh, all the screaming kids put them in bed. Who wanted to give an example? Did somebody want to give an example? Yeah. Okay. I have. Go ahead. I was burning the meat in the oil, but it was time for bed. Mm-hmm. Yep, I was burning the midnight oil, so but it was time for bed. Yeah, so very good expression. So that's an idiom that we say. So burning the midnight oil, that means like you're up all night, you know. So midnight, um, so midnight, right, is the middle of the night. It's 12 a.m. So you're burning the midnight oil. So yeah, this guy here, he's just up studying, right? So this is, this is, this is probably our friend uh, Emmanuel right now. So he's up just burning the midnight oil. So that's good. Very good. Okay. 
Uh, yes, go ahead. Go ahead, Samir. It's uh, it's bedtime story. It's bedtime story. Yes. Is that what you said? Yeah. Yes. So, so you have a bedtime story. Mm hmm. Yep. So that's when you when you read this. Oh my gosh! There's a movie with Adam Sandler called Bedtime Story. Jeez. Can so can somebody just get rid of Adam Sandler? Can somebody take him and Leonardo Di DiCaprio and just like bury the guys in the bottom of the ocean? I'm, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding, everybody. Okay, they're not that bad of actors. But I mean, really, <laughs> the guy can't act. Okay, I can act better than him. Okay, so yeah, bedtime stories. So very good. Do you want Do you want me to come over and read your children a bedtime story, Samir? I can read him a bedtime story. I, I don't I get I don't get mad but maybe if I have uh, children I can say to him share the story. You don't have any kids? I don't get married yet. Oh no, you can't you can't be in this class if you don't have kids. Didn't we tell you that? Yes. I'm just kidding, Samir. You can always come to my classes. So <laughs> yeah, so um, Tara, you want to know why what? Tara, what's um? What's why the do you question? want to bury them under the ocean? They're no, I'm good just kidding. actors. <laughs> yeah, no, no, they're they're. I'm just kidding. They're fine. They're actually fine actors. Okay, all right. So okay, so let's 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 continue on here. So computer, um, Hamid, Hamid. Yeah. What's a what's a computer? Can can be a written, is, 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 a, is a machine for doing some things, for using internet and doing some calculates. Okay. Are, are all computers electronic? Yeah, of course. Are you sure about that? Uh, no, no, no. Uh, no, no, it's okay, some... it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. No, I'm just kidding. Look, it's a trick question, but this is funny, guys. So, it, and it's okay. I'm just playing, playing around with you. Okay. Um, so, computer. Um, ay ay ay. Where's it gonna have here? Yeah, original computer. Computer. Um, let's just go here. Let's see if it's gonna give it up. So, yeah, a computer. Okay. The original computers, though, so we had the word computer around before. So it's it was somebody who, um, here, let's see if an accountant. Yeah, so, wow. So, oh, I guess it's not going to be in there. So, yeah, the original computer, though, was somebody who calculated things. Okay? And I guess it's not going to be in here. But, yeah, it's you called... Look it up. Oh, mm -hmm. Chortke. If you if you search in, in Google by the name of Chortke, you can see the old uh, type of computer that you, that was used in the past. Yeah, but also too, a computer was actually a person. Okay, so it used to be a person that um, in the past. Yeah. yeah, person. So a computer is a was a person that um, yeah. So one who computes. Okay. All right, so one who computes, so somebody who brings up mathematical combinations. So some some computers. That that was a trick question anyway. Okay, so it was a dumb it was a dumb one anyway. So okay, so uh, let's see here. So um, Sergey, hey Sergey. <clears throat> Hello. Hey Sergey, can you use computer in a sentence, please? Um, uh, uh, I, should I use uh, computer to uh, to make my sentence? Yeah. Um, should I use the computer to create or make my sentence? Okay, good. So you already made your own sentence. So very good, very good, okay. very uh, very creative, extremely creative. In fact, <laughs> so creative you get an A plus plus. So good. So there we go. Okay, so dining room, dining room, all right. So, um, Ken, can you tell yes. me what, it, what what's a dining room? What's a dining room? What do you what do you do in there? Um, <coughs> dining room. Oh, hey, Sergey, are you going to die in us, Sergey? 
So, Sergi, just just mute yourself if you're going to hack in our ear, okay? All right, no problem though. Okay, sorry, Ken. What's the dining room? Um, I'm I'm always um, have a dinner at the dining room. So you want to say in the dining room? In mm -hmm. in the dining room. Yep. So yeah, you go into into your rooms, okay? And then you you uh, you eat on the dining room table, okay? All right. But you can also let's meet at um, let's meet uh, at the dining room. But usually you also say meet in the dining room. You can say let's meet at the restaurant. Let's go into the restaurant. All right. But it's more appropriate that you say um, I eat in the dining room. Okay. Okay. All right. But you can also eat at a restaurant. And I, I know I'm over explaining this, Ken. I just want to make sure that you see the difference when you use those. Okay. Oh, so Waji, you have to leave. Okay. Bye, bye, Waji. Maybe, maybe Waji's hungry when he. Oh, there's trouble. Okay. Well, if there's trouble, Waji, the first thing I t can tell you as far as vice, advice when uh, there's trouble is punch first and ask questions later. No, I'm just kidding, with you. Just always keep a level head, okay? Hopefully your troubles will be okay. Okay, so here we go. So now bathroom. Wow, now we go the opposite of the of the dining room. So what's a bathroom, Mercy? What do you, what do you, what's a bathroom? Do you know what a bathroom is? Yes, uh, the bathroom is the place of the house. <laughs> Where you brush I don't your know teeth, home. right? <laughs> yeah. It's okay. Yes. Yeah, yeah okay. you brush your teeth. You take a shower. It's okay. I'm gonna make. I'm gonna make sure that I don't force you into an uncomfortable situation. But yeah, those are things. And you want to say a room in the house, okay? And and I understand. You know, in Spanish, you guys like to say of, you know, like um, okay. yeah, like um, uh, day. Uh, rojo, day, whatever, okay? So, but you don't say that with the house, okay? You say in the house. It's a room in, in the, the house. house. Yeah. So okay. just make sure, though, because you're going to have a tendency, since you speak Spanish as your country, you're going to want to say of a lot, okay? And in English, we really don't say of. The only time we say of is like, um, you know, knights of the round table, all right? We, we do use of, like, um, you know, Frank. Um, well, anyway, we use, we use of, but just not as much as what you use it in Spanish, okay? Does that make sense? Okay. 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 So good, so good. Can, um, Tilek, can you use bathroom in a sentence, please? Uh, after work, uh, I went to the bathroom to take a shower. Yep. And you would say, so you needed to say, take a shower. All right. Take a shower. Okay. Yeah. So you need to you need to use an indefinite article when you talk about that. You take a bath. You don't take the bath. You take a shower. You don't take the shower. All right. But you okay. but you have to use that. Okay. And don't don't worry. You're all right. Remember, I'm here to help you. If if I'm not correcting you, then I'm not doing my job. You know. If I if I'm not correcting you, then I could probably get a little monkey. You know, I could probably get a little monkey at the computer. So monkey computer. Can I ask a question? Um, yes. If do you expect an answer though? <laughs> yeah, of course, <laughs> of course. Go ahead. So mm -hmm. you know how you talked about particle I mean, uh, definite art particles. Mm-hmm. So when you you know the the like T H E uh -huh. When you pronounce it the, because I hear people when they're talking, they say like the car, and then sometimes you pronounce it the. Yeah, the car. I don't. I don't pronounce it. I don't pronounce it. Do I pronounce it the? I'm usually almost always the. So, and what happens, Tara? What happens as well is when you have words that are located next to each other. Sometimes that changes the way that you hear it, the sound of the words. Okay, but the welcome, welcome to welcome to um, the cinema of the stars. Welcome to the cinema. Welcome to the car. Um, look out at the car. Look out at the dog. So yeah. So the I don't know. I don't know why. Hmm. You don't hear me say the though, do you? Did I use the no. today? I, I was yeah. just wondering. 
Yeah, so so in here, this is the, the uh, phonetic spelling, okay? And remember what we were talking about? Remember how I was saying that words located next to each other? All right? So once you have like a stressed, uh, so you have uh, the, right? And then the, okay? And then the. So you have these when you have words like an unstressed before a consonant. Uh, sound that you have the and unstressed before a vowel like the okay okay so, so like if there is like two the, words and then the other one, the fir the word after the the is the first syllable is stressed yeah so the apple the apple okay. the apple yeah and I don't I don't I don't follow these as as much as I should and there's like a whole class where you can have locations where it's next to it right but I you know my pronunciation with the is just not good or I, I should I should spend more time on it just because typically everything um, you know I use the um, with that so so don't follow after me but this in here so you can see here how to do that okay so good question though good question um, okay and sometimes it takes me a second to answer it but yeah, okay, so we don't need any monkeys behind the computers. Uh, so brushed. So brushed here. So Samir, brushed. What about brushed? In the morning, you brushed or clean your teeth. Uh, no, yeah, so you, you brush your teeth. You typically don't say that you clean, um, that you clean your teeth. You say that you brush your teeth. Mm -hmm. yeah. What is what's that sound? Are you sawing something, Samir? Are you sawing? What? It sounds like it sounds it sounds like you're sawing wood. Ah, uh, this is my computer. Wow, what what kind of computer do you have? What well, noisy computer? <laughs> <laughs> it, it, yeah. it is barking like bark. It's like a barking computer. Okay, yeah. <laughs> so, all right. So, so no, no problem there. It's just kind of confusing. Okay, so and, and pardon me, guys, if I'm a little silly. Uh, this is my, my last class for the day, so it's been a long day, but it's been a great day. Really great, fantastic students today. I'm very happy with all of you, Sergey. Yeah. Sergey. So, what's a bedroom, Sergey? Uh, bedroom. Bedroom is uh, is a room uh, where you can uh, uh, where you can sleep sleeping uh -huh. yeah so good um, good good yep yeah I accidentally in one of my English classes I accidentally asked the student what do you do in the bedroom and um, it wasn't good so I, I don't ask people what they do in the bedroom but yeah you go to sleep in the bedroom sometimes you can stay up late watching TV um, let's see here um, Samir, can you use bedroom in a sentence, please? Okay. I put my used uh, thing in a bedroom. You you brought your what into the bedroom? I I, I bought my I bought my uh, my fishing article in a bedroom. Yeah, it's still it's still a little hard to hear. Um, in there, so it sounds like you just brought something into the bedroom. Okay, no problem. Okay, so um, Tara, Tara, can you tell me what are pajamas? Like a sleeper, what you wear when you're going to bed, I guess. Yep, yep, you have your pajamas. So these are pretty cool. Look at this guy. Look how happy he is in his pajamas, huh? Boy, what a, what a, what a fun guy. Okay, so is it okay for grown men to wear pajamas like this? Is it okay for them to wear these pajamas? What do you think? Is that okay, Tara, for grown men to wear pajamas? What do you think? Why not? It's comfortable. <laughs> Why not? It's comfortable. Okay. All right. So good, good. Um, and let's see here. So, Emmanuel, can you use pajamas in a sentence? Okay. Um, I'm wearing pajamas right now. Oh, okay. So, no problem. I guess it is okay for grown men to wear pajamas. 
Okay, so no yes. problem. So, okay, and pillow, pillow. Uh, Tilek, Tilek, can you tell me what a pillow is? What's a pillow? Pillow is a thing where we put our head when we are sleeping. Yeah, it's where you where you put your head at night, right? When you're sleeping. Did you, do you ever want to get a pig pillow? Would you like a little pig pillow? I, I've never had. Yeah. And, and by the way, I understand that some, and it, excuse me, I forget. So I understand some people don't ever eat pork, and I don't ever mean to offend you anytime little pigs or anything like that come up. So, so please understand. Um, sometimes I just don't think about that, okay? But I, I, don't, I wouldn't want a little pig pillow either. Okay, so Tara, can you use a pillow in a sentence? Um, I had a white pillow. <laughs> yep, I had a white, I had a white pillow. Okay, so this is pretty cool. Have you, have you guys ever? Has anybody been in a pillow fight? It's a funny game. <laughs> yeah, it's fun, isn't it? Does Does anybody else? Has anybody else been in a pillow fight? Mercy, do you guys have pillow fights in Spain? <laughs> no. No? I, you got no. <laughs> Hey, Jose. Hey, Jose, how are you? Hey, Jose, question of the day. Have you ever been in a pillow fight, Jose? I'm oh, yeah. so sorry to be late, Jack. It's okay. You're only 55 minutes late. Okay. It's like being on time for the next. It, it's it's like it's like being early for the next class. You're, you're not late. I, I'm not late. I'm early for the next class. Is what you can tell everybody. Jose, have you ever been in a pillow fight? When I was child. When when how about you, Emmanuel? So when you were a child, you were in a pillow fight. Yes, when I was child, I I play. Pillow fight. Uh, you don't. You don't really play a pillow fight. You can say I was in a pillow fight. Okay. Okay. So okay. yeah. So that one. That one. You wouldn't use the word play. Did you ever? Would you ever stick rocks in your pillow? When you play in the pillow fight. Um. No. No. Okay. Well, that's that's good. Don't worry about it. You would. You wouldn't want to do that. Yeah, no, I'm just kidding. You don't want to do that. No, it was it was horrible though. I had two older brothers, and they used to make snowballs, and my my parents would warn them. So you guys know what snowballs are, right? Okay, but what they do is they put rocks in the snowballs, and when it when it would <laughs> when it would hit you, it just clobber you. Anyway, they're pretty pretty mean dudes. Surprised I made it out alive, but uh, but yeah, you don't want to put rocks in your pillowcase when you have a pillow fight. All right, so um, okay, so blanket. Okay, let's see what a blanket is. Oh, we're all at the end. Okay, Emmanuel, what's a blanket? Blank um, is that you use for for um, in the bed for for be be more uh, be be hot. Uh, no, hot. to to it's okay to stay warm, to yes, stay, to stay warm. warm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yep. Do you warm. ever do you ever really need a blanket in Costa Rica though? Yes, yeah, so, uh, I always use a uh, the blanket. You always use a blanket. Because okay, good, good, good. Yes. D does anybody here have a favorite blanket? Come on, admit it. Who here yes, has a favorite I blanket? Yep. I do. By the way, I do too. That's why I'm asking. One I've had for about 18 years. Pretty crazy. An adult with a favorite blanket. Who else does? I How about you, Ken? Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead, Hamid. Is to put on my blanket. Oh. Mm -hmm. So you have a favorite blanket. I just blanket? use one of my blankets. Uh, just one of them. Okay, good, good, good. And how about you, Ken? Do you have a favorite blanket, Ken? Yes. Yeah. Um, Do you have a favorite blanket? Um. 
Uh, no saying. <laughs> no, um, you don't have. It's okay. Yeah. No favorite uh, blanket. I don't like blankets. Oh, you don't like blankets? Okay, good, good, good. So, uh, Mercy, how about you? Do you have a favorite blanket? Uh, yes, uh, I have one favorite. I okay, bought uh, years ago in IKEA. IKEA, yes. <laughs> what is, uh, IKEA, is, what's IKEA? It's Sweden, right? The guys from Sweden invented IKEA. So, yes. Something, yep. Good, good. Samir, how about you? Do you have a favorite blanket? Uh, I don't need to wear a blanket because it's okay, hot. Nope. It's very hot. Sergi, yes. do you have a favorite blanket? Uh, actually, I uh, I don't. Uh, I have. Uh, I have two bl blankets, and uh, <laughs> uh, no one is my favorite. No, none, none of them are your favorite. Tara, how about you? Do you have a favorite blanket? I do, but I don't have it with me. So. Oh no! I know. <laughs> oh my gosh! Where's my favorite blanket? Okay. All right. Well, hopefully you'll get a new favorite one. Telek, how about you? Do you have a favorite blanket? Uh, actually, I have no favorite blanket. You don't have a favorite blanket? Ah, uh, man. Okay. Anyway, well, hey, I'm gonna I'm gonna end class now. It's four o'clock.